In today's episode of the Online Dynasty with the Dope Swag Money League, Penn State travels to Pittsburgh to take on in-state rival uh, Pitt Panthers. And in this game, it's another improvised online session as the Online Dynasty unfortunately was not able to allow the connection for the game. And so we set up just like the Oklahoma State game, a contest in an online unranked match that would help determine who the victory uh, would go to that we would then later simulate with in the contest. So with the game on the line early, Pitt's, Pitt puts in the first touchdown. Penn State responds with one of their own, and then the Panthers come back and throw an interception, almost a pick six as there's 320 left. And last game, you saw against Arizona, Penn State couldn't hardly get in the end zone in the first quarter. In this one, they've already got in twice. And there's three minutes left to go. The Panthers now back on offense, trying to respond. Nice stop there on the perimeter, brings up a third and two, and the Panthers going hurry up here. Let's see what Penn State's gonna do. Are they gonna key on the run? Maybe go for the short pass. Throw a few guys in the flats pit, coming, though, coming up with the power run game. Penn State, can they stop it? They key on it. Oh, but the power running game. Darren Hall punches it through a first down. A common theme on the day. Pitt later goes back to the pass, but this time another interception. Then Nittany Lions with their second already, still in the first quarter. Hackenberg coming back though, handing it off. Maybe a good time for some play action. Instead, they decide to go to the run, trying to win this game on the ground as much. There's your play action. There's your completion to Kyle Carter. The big tight end rumbling down the field. He's got a little bit of wheels down inside the 10. Hackenberg's not done with his arm. A couple plays later, throws this one out, and it's a touchdown. The Nittany Lions up 21 to seven. Pitt not going to the run game, going back to the air. Oh my goodness, look at that speed burst. That is some incredible speed. You cannot defend that, you cannot teach that. The Pitt Panthers right back onto the board. Ready to come up with a stop. They can't do it on that play on third and nine. The Nittany Lions pick it up. They move right along past midfield. Hackenberg a few plays later completes one to Tompkins. He was missed by the safety, bumped by the corner, and then no one could get to him. Another touchdown for the Nittany Lions. What a fluke play. That one could have possibly been intercepted, should have been stopped short, ended up in a score and it's 28-14, still four and a half to go in the first half. What a contrast to last week's game. High scoring contest, we expected some old school, old man, Big Ten type of football here, and it's just not happening so far. Now 28 to 21, still four minutes to go in the second quarter. Now it's Godwin with the reception. He's well across midfield. Penn State moving right back down. What a back and forth. Fast-paced, high-intensity game. And this one, just a poor play on offense, sending three receivers I, almost to the same identical spot. Naturally, all defenders congregated in that area. Leads to an interception, but Penn State returns the favor and gets the, the pick on the underneath route. Nittany Lions gain a lot of field position out of that one inside the 20. The handoff, Allen takes it around the corner, inside the pylon, and it's a touchdown, and it's a 35-21 to 21 lead now for the men in white. The pit responds. Now it's second and goal, trying to score before half. 10 seconds, timeout, no timeouts left. Third and goal, play action. Penn State sitting on it, the pass. Oh, that one was almost picked. Will the Panthers go for it or will they kick for the points? They're gonna go for it. Penn State moving around, trying to create some confusion. What are they gonna settle with on defense? Three seconds on the play clock. They give up the middle and he's stuffed. What an incredible stop. Penn State holding the Panthers out of the end zone. And that's really gonna swing momentum moving into the second half as Penn State comes out filled with confidence. Just trying to pound this thing down on the ground, eat some clock, demoralize this squad, and Pitt keys on that run, and Penn State picks a pass at the right time. It comes up with another touchdown. The Panthers, of course, not gonna give up. They're just gonna be emboldened to go back to the air and try to get back into this thing on the arm of their quarterback and on the uh, legs of their speedy receivers, you saw how capable they are of breaking a big one at any time. Not giving up on the run completely though. Penn State comes up with a stop. 
forces a second and nine after only a one yard pickup. But going to the hurry up, the Panthers shifting things around. Going right back to the ground. This time the quarterback keeps it. Oh, nice little juke inside. Picks up the first down a few plays later at second and goal. Dropping back and hitting this man. Falling away. That took some incredible concentration and ability and a touchdown as the Panthers are right back in it. But, of course, Penn State not giving up. It's now the fourth quarter. Hackenberg rolling around just looking crazy, looking silly. He pulls up. He looked like he was going to scramble, but instead he throws it to Kyle Carter. That's got to be a frustrating play for the Panthers who thought they had him locked up. And later, Penn State with a big interception. And that's going to be a pick six. Oh, no, he takes a knee, trying to eat a little bit of clock. And the next play, they give it, and it's run in for a touchdown. 56-28 is the score. Penn State seems to have this one well within hand. The Panthers not giving up, though, throwing it down the field, getting the first down. Now second and goal, dropping back. Oh, and the throw is underneath and short, and it's intercepted. Penn State comes up with a big stop, unable to do anything with it, eventually punt it, flip the field position on the Panthers, who are down inside their own 20. And then on fourth and 10, throw it up and are unable to execute. Leads to Penn State down inside the 10. And the handoff, and Allen rumbles around the corner, and he picks up. Oh, nope, he's going to go down once again. The Nittany Lions really trying to just win this thing on the clock at this point. No point in uh, rubbing it in as far as the score goes. And so eventually the clock runs out. Hackenberg with a solid day, 13 for 16. Very efficient, four scores, that one interception, and a, a decent game on the ground as well for uh for penn state only 259 yards we've seen hackenberg throw for a lot more in this season but really just an efficient performance a 20 yard average and uh and of course on the ground when you run it 27 times for 170 some yards very uh very difficult to uh, complain about that especially from a passing standpoint hackenberg happy to not be the man that had to get it done penn state just a great job of getting down the field, managing the ball on the defensive side, getting those five interceptions. It's really, uh, really hard to overcome that for anybody. And uh, Pitt did a good job of staying in the game despite those interceptions. Statistically looking strong on the day. Uh, but when Penn State's just playing with a short field and punching it in, uh, Pitt's going to have the ball a lot more. So just a fast, crazy first half. Things really slowed down in the second half. A lot of passing yards and rushing yards really pit even on the running game, but uh, blew away Penn State through the air. But again, those five interceptions, you just can't overcome that. And you're able to see that with the time of possession advantage that Penn State had um, on the day. So great performance by Penn State. Again, this one means way more than just the win in the undefeated season and the continued march towards a national championship. This had implications on in-state recruiting. There are uh, a few players that, that both Penn State and Pitt are battling over trying to bring in, and uh, not just like three-star guys, we're talking like four- and five-star guys that could be like program changers. And so uh, this was just a huge relief for the Penn State Nittany Lions to be able to pull this victory off. And now they can focus on the big matchup, and that's next week taking on the undefeated BYU Cougars on the road. You will not want to miss that matchup, folks. It very likely could be a number one versus number two type of game, and we'll see you then. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, or share below, and subscribe if you haven't. And next time you're shopping online at Amazon or eBay, use the links I've provided in the description below to help support my channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.